G'day guys, so we're back on the Calais wagon again, a little bit more progress uh, this week. So we're reinstalling the K-frame, I'll give it a bit of a click of paint and some uh, new bits. And we're going to put a BM and m ratchet shifter with a drop box. Alright, let's kick off. Okay, so we've got our semi-restored K-frame back in the car. We've had a rail cam respray, uh, some rack boots, uh, some shocks, springs, bearing plates, a few bushes, and she's all back in. Now, I'm um, really not happy with this spring height. Um, these springs are supposed to be 35 mil lowered. Um, they're really high. Uh, I would say they're either standard or raised, but they're not going to work, they're coming out. And uh, also the big surprise, the billets actually don't suit this car. Well, not in my opinion, I don't think they work. Um, that kind of changes things, that's, that's kind of the look I was going for. So I think I'll be changing them out to something different. Possibly going to be uh, going a set of HDT Momo Stars. I think that might suit the look that I want. Um, I've got to remember I'm trying not to make this car a race car. I've already got one of those. So we're trying to keep this one as fairly streetable as possible. Um, yeah, so if that, that's the case, we'll be changing the springs out. I'll drop it down nice and low so it all works um, with the bigger rims. So we'll, we'll have a look at that. Okay, so we got a new set of King Spring Super Lows for the front. Um, out with the old, in with the new. Uh, let's slam them in, see how they look. Really not happy with the other ones, so let's see what these do. Alrighty, so we've just chucked our new Super Low Springs in. Um, sitting about two inches lower than it was. Uh, and it's actually got a bit of suspension trouble now, so... Quite happy with how that's going to look. Uh, by the time I put an engine box in it, it'll be down nicely. That should work out fine.
righty oh so I've got to cut out a little bit of clearance work around here here and up here um, just to fit the drop box as you can see it's fairly squared off but that's all done um, I'd advise doing this with like an air saw or something um, this stuff under here this insulation is extremely flammable um, so yeah you gotta be a bit careful with that so air saw would be the go or a reciprocating saw whatever you want to call it and here we go beautiful uh, I did have to take a little bit of carpet out up here the old blade um, rightio so I'll get a few rivets i'll get a few rivets in that to hold that down and then we'll line the shifter up put the console back in then line the shifter up and make sure it all fits where it should and then we'll mark it out and drill some holes Radio. So I've got the shifter sitting in place. Uh, it's just sitting in there to mock everything up, make sure it runs, you know, true up in the um, the, the the slot. Uh, you have to cut this little slot in here for the reverse lockout. Um, you've got to give a little bit of room around the the lever to move because as you ratchet through the gears, it'll move forward and backwards. Also, need to give enough clearance so when you engage the lockout, uh, in, in engage reverse or neutral, you, you move the lever. Um, so you've got to make sure you've got enough room there. Um, Alright, so we'll pull it apart now, pull the plastics off and mount the shifter without moving it. Um, Alright, let's, let's do this. Okay, got three of the four bolt holes marked. We'll uh, drill them. I'm going to go with these um, M M8 bolts. Um, we'll chuck three of them in. Uh, once we've got three bolt holes in, the, um, the fourth hole will be easy enough to mark, so I'll just drill that. So, all right, we'll get that done. All right, guys, all sorted, all bolted in. Everything works as it should. Everything ratchets, lockout works, straight up the park. It, it, it works perfect. Uh, it's exactly what I wanted. Uh, very happy with it. Uh, the drop box is definitely a win. Um, it does make it a bit easier, but there is a little bit of cutting and modifying required. Um, this installation is not complete. Uh, there is wiring on the side of the shifter for your reverse lights and your uh, neutral safety switch, which we will get sorted when, when the car gets wired. Um, so we are putting a link ECU in it. So I will sort all that wiring out. Um, I will show how to wire all the solenoids of the micro switches up when, when that does get done. Um, until then, we just need to drill one more hole uh, for the shifter cable, but um, I'm waiting on that to turn up. So once that turns up, we'll, uh, we'll revisit this, we'll drill that hole and it'll be sorted. Very happy.